The mooring hitch. Mooring men, starboard 10. The buffer. But I'm not sure. Is it a naval knot? Uh, not a necessarily a naval knot, but is it actually for mooring, the, as the name suggests, for mooring vessels, etc. Um, and in my research on this particular knot, I've found some sort of conflicting information online that would suggest that because it is a quick release knot, it is not really a mooring knot as such. It, it can be used for temporary mooring from what I understand, but if you plan on leaving your vessel for a long time, maybe this is not the knot to use, but what I will do is Towards the end of the video, I'll show you a little bit more secure way of actually tying this knot. But the beauty of this knot is, once again, do you know I love these sort of knots? Once again, it is quick to tie and it's even quicker to untie. And so if I just pull on this here, you can see here that, well, it's untied. Quick and easy. The one thing I would say to this about this knot is it's probably more of a light duty knot simply for the fact is that there are possibilities so I've read that it can jam under load and I've not personally tested that yet so anybody who's watching this if they can actually test that for me and leave me a comment down below and tell me what you thought about this when you put it under load or if you actually use this knot for mooring up your boats, etc. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on and let's get knotting. Right, so as you can see, I've got my cordage in front of me. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you the normal method of tying the mooring hitch. And then what I'll do is we'll tie it again, but in the second time, I will show a more secure version, which you may like if you do want to secure a vessel, donkey, horse, or something like that. So anyway, as you can see in front of me, I've got my cordage. My red end, my red whipping at this time is going to be my working end. That's going to the right-hand side. So obviously to the left-hand side, that is attached to my donkey, kayak, boat or whatever. Right, so the first thing that we do is we get our working end and here's the stanchion we want to attach it to. We take a length around our stanchion. Okay, so we need a little bit on this, slightly, not very cord hungry, but just you need a little bit of excess on it. So now that we've done that, the next thing I'm going to do is, on my working end here, I'm just going to form an underhand loop. So you can see here now, there's my working end, just form an underhand loop. And so there we have it, the cordage is now going round, it's going over the working end, and then the working end is coming underneath that piece there. Once we've done that, we then get our working end, and with that we pass it over our standing end. So just pass it over the standing end and then when we post it, po poke, <laughs> place it over the standing end, the next thing that we do is we want to bring a bite up through that underhand loop that we've created. And all I'm going to do is just push my rope up, get my thumb in there and there you go, you can see now we've pulled a bite through from the actual standing end. Once we've done that, I then take my working end and I form a bite in my working end. So you can see there, I've formed a bite. Just bring it together, bring the two cords together and pass that bite through the previous bite. So just pass it through and there we have it. We now have our mooring hitch, which is a slip knot as such. And as I pull up on this, you'll see it will pull up tighter and tighter against the post. And all it leaves now is for me to dress it up. Now, this is where the issue comes in this. Two issues here. Tell me about it in the description below if you know about the issue of it jamming under a heavy load. I haven't tested this under a heavy load yet, but if you know that it jams, please tell me. As far as I'm aware, this is more for light duties, this particular um, hitch. So as you can see here now, it's all nice and secure, but the big issue with this one is that it could be that if you've got a horse, he may pull on that one, and if he pulls hard enough, he ends up undoing it. Or, 
over time, I'm not sure, over time or somebody walking past it could trip. You know the scenario. And that's probably why they don't think this one is so secure. But here's another way or the same way of tying it, but with a little extra twist on it at the end, which I'll show you. Right. So once again, there's my working end going to the right standing end to the left. So I take my working end and I pass it round my stanchion and what I'm doing now is just putting it, pulling a little bit more through than I did last time. I then, at this point here, I just form an underhand loop. So you can see there, form an underhand loop and then that underhand loop passes over the standing end. Then once it's passed over the standing end, push up or pull through with your fingers and form a bite going through that loop. And then the next thing I do is at this point here, I form another bite in my working end. So you can see there, that's my working end. I'm now forming a bite at that point there. And then the next thing I do is pass that bite through the previous bite at that point. And then now we can draw it up like we did before. But because we actually gave ourselves a little bit of extra cordage here on our working end, what we can do is just bring our working end round and tuck it through that loop. So that in itself has now, in a sense, locked it in place. But what we can do if we want to is just pull up on our working end like so. And you can see that loop there is gradually getting smaller and it's now strangling our working end. And we just pull the excess of our working end through. But the problem with this is now, at this stage, it's not quick release. For us to actually release this knot, we have to take it out of that loop. Now that we've taken it out of that loop there, so if I just open that up a bit more, you can see that loop a little bit clearer. You can see here now that when I pull on this, quickly comes undone. To be honest, I do like this one for light duties, whether or not it can be used for heavy duties because of the jamming under load issues, please tell me down below, but I will do my own tests. And maybe between now and this being published in the description below, of course, there will be more information regarding this knot, including anything I've personally done. So anyway, once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you all again next time. Take care then. Bye-bye.